Why is it so important today to build a learning organization? Well, we live in a world characterized by high velocity, which is change, ambiguity, uncertainty, globalization, and technology. And we've had that for decades. I think what's different today as we sit here today is what I call the coming technology tsunami. I think we're on the cusp of a technology explosion in artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things, the whole impact of big data and data analytics. Big data is producing so much information and with the uh, computer power becoming cheaper and cheaper, we're able to basically write algorithms now about things we couldn't write in the past, which means we're going to move automation from replacing muscle to automation replacing brain. Mm. And artificial intelligence is going to move up the cognitive scale. We're already seeing this in the legal profession, the architecture mm. profession, tax preparation profession, and it's only going to expand as we get better and better and if you will, in artificial intelligence. So I think the business of the future, the organization of the future, is going to look very different than it looks today. Mm -hmm. I think most businesses will be comprised of some combination of smart robots, smart machines, and people. And in many businesses, the number of people are going to decline substantially and the number of machines are going to increase. And what that means is, for us humans, mm -hmm. is most cases now, except in manufacturing, we've had to compete against each other. And we all have the similar, if you will, thinking and emotional deficits that we have to overcome. Well, artificial intelligence smart machines, they don't have emotional defensiveness. They don't have yeah. ego problems. They don't have biases, all right? They don't get sick, all right? Mm -hmm. They don't bring personal problems to work, <laughs> all right? They also are much, they can think much, much faster. They can access memory. They can store much more than we can store and access it faster, pattern match faster, see anomalies or variances faster. So the competition's changing. So we're going to be competing, okay? Now, the technology people like to say it's all going to be complementary. Well, yes, it is going to be complimentary for those that win, all right? Mm. For those that who can... Who are prepared. Who are prepared, <laughs> right. So why do people in organizations have to have the capability to learn? Things are going to, I believe, even move faster mm. than they have moved, and the changes coming are big. Wow. Um, the best research out there says that in the next 10 to 20 years, two-thirds of the U.S. workforce has a medium to high probability of being displaced by technology. And what are we going to do about that? <laughs> That's a big problem. Yeah. That's a big problem to which we need. Uh, there are what I call the techno-optimists who say that just like the Industrial Revolution, we'll produce new jobs for those mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but maybe not, because that means we're going to be producing millions, millions of new jobs which require skills that technology can't do. Mm -hmm. They can't be jobs which yeah. technology can do. They gotta be jobs which technology can't do. Ah. Then we have the issue of, okay, how do we train the displaced workers to do those jobs? Because if they had those skills, they may not have been displaced, right? So there's, it's very complicated, in, mm -hmm. I believe. And what I've been advocating is the issue is so serious that we can't go on hope. Mm -hmm. We need a plan B. Yeah. What, do, what are we as a society going to look like and how do we start preparing more and more of our children and our adults to basically acquire the skills that technology is not going to be able to do well. Mm -hmm. And those skills are critical thinking, innovative thinking and creativity in high emotional engagement with other humans and high social intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because jobs where people have to relate to other people teachers, social workers, psychologists, nurses, all right, are going to be, technology is going to be hard for them to do because 
near future technology can emotionally cannot emotionally right. connect. Okay, yeah. so why? Uh, because in order to flourish individually, thrive individually, and prosper individually and as organizations, I believe in the environment we're going into, those organizations the, who learn the fastest and the best will win. Hmm. So I believe it's a strategic imperative.